This is the range country, where the pounding hooves of untamed horses still thunder over mountains, meadows, and canyons. Every herd has its own leader, but there is only one fury. Fury, king of the wild stallions. And here in the wild west of today, hard-riding men still battle the open range for a living. Men like Jim Newton, owner of the Broken Wheel Ranch, and Pete, his top hand, who says he cut his teeth on a branding iron. Fury! Fury! Wild as Fury is, that's the one human voice he's learned to love and obey. The voice of the boy who once saved his life. Jim Newton's boy, Joey. Jerry! Here's a mutual trust and affection that everyone can understand. Especially a woman like Helen Watkins, Joey's school teacher and unfailing champion. Kneel down, let me get on you. And there they are together. A great wild horse and the only person on earth who can ride him. Joey and Fury. you, Fury. Jump in the crowd like you did last night. One of these times, you're gonna get hurt. We got a good home here. You ought to appreciate it. After I get this on you, I'm gonna show them how jelly you are. Come back here, Fury! I'm not gonna hurt you. All I want to do is sit on your back for a minute. Hey, Mr. Jim, look! I'm riding Fury! Look at the little side of a gun. You okay, Joey? Yeah, I guess so. Are you out of your mind, Newton? That boy shouldn't be in there with that wild horse. Hi, right, Charlie. Oh, that's all right. Joey can handle Fury. Well, I'm glad somebody can. What do you mean? A wild horse has been raiding my herd. Well, you're accusing Fury? Now, we all know he's been jumping his corral. But did you actually see him raid your place or anybody else's? No, but he's the only wild stallion we know of in this territory. Look, Charlie, when a horse as frisky as Fury is, he's bound to get out of his corral once in a while. He's not frisky, he's vicious and ought to be shot. You can't talk about Fury like that, Mr. Stevens. Let me handle this, Joey. Well, if you don't, I will. We won't let him shoot Fury, will we, Mr. Jim? Oh, of course not, Joey. Now, you run along and do your chores. Okay. You know, Jim, you can't blame Charlie Stevens for feeling the way he does. After all, Fury has been getting out of his corral. And it does seem sort of peculiar that the broken wheel is the only ranch that ain't been hit by the raider. Yeah, but that's not enough evidence to prove it's Fury. Well, you can't blame Charlie for thinking.
He's got to be around here someplace. You know what they want to do to you? How do you expect me to? Fury, look! The sun's going out the Stevens Ranch. Jim. What's the matter? What, what, what are you doing out of bed, Joey? Mr. Stevens Ranch was raided. A white horse did it. I saw him. Uh, oh, you've just been having a bad dream, Joey. It wasn't a dream. Fury jumped his corral and I went after him. I found him Mr. Stevens Ranch. We were starting back when we saw this white horse open the gate of the corral. Oh, now, wait a minute. You saw a, a horse open a corral gate? Yes, I did, Mr. Jim. And it wasn't Fury. He was with me when it happened. What's all the ruckus? Where are you going? He's not going anywhere. He's just been out on the range with Fury. I sure was. And go look at him if you don't believe me. He's not even cooled off yet. Sounds like a good idea. You're right. He's been traveling plenty. And you say you saw the Stevens Ranch being raided, huh? Yes, sir. You sure that was after you found Fury and not before? Sure, I'm sure. Don't you believe me either? Of course we believe you, Joey. Let's get back to the house. The thing that looks bad is what was Fury doing over there if he didn't go to raid? I don't know. But it wasn't Fury who was doing the raiding. It was a white horse. Good evening, Charlie. Newton, my ranch was raided tonight. I know it. I just checked up on Fury, and he's been out. And then I was right all along. Well, now, wait a minute, Charlie. Joey saw Fury get out of his corral, and he followed him. And Joey saw a white stallion cutting out your herd. You expect me to believe that? If there were a white stallion running loose in this range, we'd know about him. And it's mighty peculiar that this boy here is the only one who saw him. Well, at least we owe it to Joey to look into it. You don't have to look beyond that corral. Well, you may be right, but Pete and I are going to start checking that range in the morning. We'll find that white stallion, Mr. Stevens. You'll see I'm not lying. Nobody said you were, Joey. Good night, Charlie. Good night. Come on, let's get to bed. You stay here, Joey. We'll be gone most of the day. Can I come along too, Mr. Jim? Please? No, we got a lot of territory to cover and we got to move fast. Besides, somebody's got to stay here to look after things. Okay. <laughs> hey. That horse is anywhere out in here. He must be hiding in a gopher hole. Six hours. The only cayuses we've seen are the ones we're setting on. Well, let's go. Either I'm seeing things, or that's Charlie Stevens out checking the range, too. Now, 
Colonel Newton. Where's that fan on the boy saw? No sign of him. Are you satisfied now? No. If Joey saw him, then he's out there someplace. We've looked into every canyon and gully for 10 miles around here. Maybe he didn't look good enough. I'm a busy man, Newton, and this is just a waste of time. I'll go along for one more day, that's all. All right, that's fair enough, Charlie. Now, oh, incidentally, we're setting up a patrol tonight. If we spot any horse that doesn't belong out here, black or white, we're gonna shoot him on sight. And don't you worry, Fury. Mr. Jim wouldn't have been gone so long unless he was chasing that white horse. You'll see. He'll catch him. Where's the white stallion, Mr. Jim? Didn't you catch him? Nope. I'm beginning to think we're chasing a mirage. But I saw him. Really, I did. Well, maybe we'll catch him tomorrow. Meanwhile, let's make sure that Fury stays home tonight. This ought to curb that wild streak of yours for tonight, anyway. I don't think Fury's gonna like that. Well, it's for his own good, Joey. I don't like it any better than he does. I was hoping we wouldn't have to tie him up. He'll be wanting out of this corral worse than ever once we turn him loose. Oh, well, we don't have any other choice, Pete. Now you take it easy, and I'll see you later. one of our horses badly beaten up. Looks like it was in a fight. The raider? Looks like it. Couldn't have happened more than a few minutes ago. If that renegade's still around, we'll get him now. Let's go. Sure wanted out of here. Gee, if I'd only known sooner, maybe I could have stopped him. I doubt it, Joey. I just don't understand it. Fury ain't jumping his corral just because he's wild. It's something prompted him. Now, don't tell me he's been in that corral all night. We just chased him halfway across the range. That horse is a killer, Newton. There's no use waiting any longer to get rid of him. No! Go on back to the house, Joey. Go on. All right, Charlie, I'm convinced. I'll send for Doc Selby in the morning. Well, I don't care how you kill that outlaw, just so you get it done. Personally, I wouldn't call on a vet to do the job. You wouldn't. I'll be here in the morning. I want to make sure that Doc Selby does the job properly. Does he know what this is going to do to Joey? I don't think he cares, Pete. It isn't easy to lose someone or something you love. I better have a talk with Joey. Joey. You're going to kill Fury. Joey, we've given Fury every chance. But when he starts raiding other people's livestock and maybe killing them, well, then that's, that's going too far. But I told you it was another horse. Well, maybe it was. But it wasn't another horse out there tonight. Now, 
theory he'll never know what happened. I'm getting the vet. And he'll give him something to, to make him go to sleep. But Fury is... Joey. Joey, I'm just as fond of Fury as you are, but he's a wild horse and he can't be tamed. Now, you lie down and try to forget it. Someone who could help us. Please, God. You know it isn't Fury who's been doing it. Can't you make Mr. Jim see that? Fury's an awful good horse. He's got no one but me to look out for him. Just because I'm little, they all think I'm lying. I know how tough it is to be all alone with nobody to care about you. I guess you know it, too. That's the way it is with Fury. Nobody likes him anymore except me. And I don't count. Golly, God. If you can't help me figure out what to do, they're gonna... They're, they're gonna... <laughs> Why they put you in here? If you could only talk, you could tell them about that other horse. Maybe then they'd believe us. Say, even though you can't talk, maybe you know where he lives. I know. I'll let you out of here and you show me where he lives. He's not in his room. Yeah, probably out in the corral with Fury. I hope so. Fury's not there either. Reckon he didn't want to wait for Doc Selby. Get the horses saddled and let's get after him. Buggy's coming. Never mind, get the horses. Doc Selby here yet? I haven't had a chance to call him. Joey's missing, so's Fury. Well, if you think Stalin's gonna change my mind, you're... Now listen, Stevens, that boy Joey may be in trouble. Now either you help find him or get out of here. Well, all right, I'll go along. But remember, when you find the boy, you'll also find that horse. That's a bridge we'll cross when we get to it. Hank, you and Sam go over to Ridge Canyon. We'll cover the range to the south.
You all right, Joey? I'm okay. Fury in that white horse. I know. I saw it, Joey. And so did Charlie Stephen. Now, what have you got to say for yourself, Charlie? I, uh, I want you to accept my apology, boy. I, I... Oh, that's all right, Mr. Stevens. Anybody can make a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you? And this time you behave yourself. Stallion. No, you just concentrate on making a good range horse out of Fury. Then maybe one of these days we'll go after that renegade. Okay, Mr. Jim. Don't have to teach Fury much. He's already the best horse on the range right now. Let's go, Fury. <laughs> 